think it is. No, it's not Richard. There we go. All right. All right. Oh, am I echoing? Yep. All right. There we go. Let me just do this at everyone. We are live. With episode two of Mixcast. All right, here we go. You can say hi to the people, bad frog. <laughs> uh, sorry, I got uh, distracted by uh, DMs, endless DMs. Endless DMs. All right. <laughs> hi, people. Hi, Joke. Hi, MD. Hi, Jade Fox. Hi, Darth. Hi, Dog God. Hi, Ayo. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Um, Hi. Welcome to episode two of the Mixcast. Hi, everyone. It's a tornado. What's up, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Bad Frog. How are you? Hey, I'm doing all right as soon as I can find your channel. Oh, well then. On. All right. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. How's everyone doing tonight? You guys doing all right? Good to see you guys. Yes. Episode two. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um... We have, uh, we have a couple of uh, hot topics to talk about tonight. We do know that Battlefield launched tonight, or launches in an hour. Uh, but since Fallout launched yesterday, we're going to talk a little bit about Fallout 76. Uh, we have Detective Pikachu, because the trailer just launched the other day. Uh, Xbox keyboard and mouse support is coming. Actually, I think it was today. It's, to it's today. Yeah. And then... Uh, we also have the Fortnite glider, uh, uh, the Fortnite glider, like whole discussion on whether it was good, bad, all that stuff. So, um, and some news on that as well. So I hope, uh, I hope you guys are ready to have some discussions on some of these topics. So, uh, <laughs> yes, joke fallout. I know, I know you're all over the fallout. <laughs> all right. Uh, did we get the sound good this week? Uh, yeah. If you guys hear Bad Frog a little quiet, just let us know. I can I can fix that. You're playing it right now? Oh, my God. Yeah. Let me know if uh, Bad Frog is too quiet and we can adjust that. Um, and I'm having yeah. lighting issues. I see that. You seem to be having... Can you go turn your light on? Like flashbacks to the red zone or something. It's crazy. I'm going <laughs> to turn another one It's a one disco party. Hey, Crafty. What's up, Crafty? Um, thank you guys for the follows and the host to start. Gary, Badfrog, uh, Darth, uh, MD, Ayo, thank you guys. Twister, thank you. Um, Dog God, thank you. I have to sneeze. Well, <laughs> oh, that's why I kept, like, like itching my nose, because I had to sneeze. Uh, Dark Will Tornado, thank you guys. Um, he's quieter than you, but overall it's fine. I can turn him up a little bit. The, the notifications... Actually, I had an idea on how to fix that. What? Was that was that a Fallout 76 emote that just flew across my screen? Yes, it was. I didn't even know they did that. They what? Yesterday. No way. Yep. Uh, so if you if you end up listening to this on Podbean or on uh on Acast. Uh, you're definitely gonna have to tune into, uh, what like what is this within the first five minutes of the show and watch. Uh, actually, I don't know if it, I don't know if it'll capture. It. I don't think it will because it was in the chat. Go to Mixer and drop the Fallout, uh, the Fallout emote or the uh, the sticker. Yep, that one right there. Oh that my god! Out. And you can send out multiple of them. That is amazing. I love it. I didn't even know they did that. They're cheap. Here we go. Let me bump this up. So Bad Frog should be much, or well, he should be a little bit louder. All right. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. Look at all of these Fallout 76 stickers and everything. Oh, my God. Uh, We can get to that in a little bit here, dog God. All right. Um, Hi, guys. Hello, everyone. Thanks for showing up for Mixer. Uh, or the mix, uh, the mix cast. Oh my god! Uh, episode two. You guys are awesome. Let's uh, let's jump into some topics. Let's jump into some topics. First one off the bat is Detective Pikachu. 
who went and saw the trailers? Did you guys see the trailers to to the new Pokemon movie? All right. So I'm curious of what your guys' initial reactions are right off the bat. Because there's a huge, huge debate on whether, one, Pikachu should be allowed to talk. And two, live action Pokemon. Because, I mean, Pokemon was already an anim animated series for the longest time, right? So uh, having having live action yeah. always makes people nervous. But you've also got Deadpool voice in Pikachu, so... Yeah, that's true. We have Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, who uh, took over the voice of Pikachu. Um, and... I don't know. Uh, it, it could be it could be interesting. It could be interesting. What is that Jigglypuff? All right, hold on. All right. So, if you if you end up watching this on Acast or Podbean, we're going to play the the trailer real quick. Uh you'll be able to hear it, but uh if you're if you haven't seen the trailer yet, go watch it or watch it here. Uh it's it's pretty it's pretty unique. Uh so I'm going to play it here on the stream real quick. Uh let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Camera feed. Yes, we're still working out the bugs. Yeah, we're still working on making things the most efficient. Yeah, two minutes before we were supposed to start, we're still having conversations. So. Yeah, we were chatting about whether to have music on here or not. Because music is like a... I can't even find the, the camera source for it. It's not, on my, it's not on my thing unless it got taken away. It looks like it was moved into a different box. Well, we couldn't run licensed music, period. We yeah, can't run licensed, licensed music because it can't be uploaded to YouTube at that point. So we would run into a lot of issues like uh, having copyright issues. And so we would have to grab unli unlicensed music, which at that point, you don't really know what you're running into. Um, I, no, no. You, I completely you, you, lost YouTube it. YouTube will jerk it. They're, they're... Yeah, Mu uh, YouTube will completely get rid of it. All right, I have the Xbox overlay. My camera overlay is gone. I don't know where it went. I'm going to pull up another one, so it's going to look janky for a second. Uh, no capture device. Stat booster. It's not even this one. It's almost like it was deleted. This is weird. Display capture. That's that video. <laughs> All right, so yeah, like I said, janky real quick. Put it right here. This is where it was supposed to be. All right. There we go. All right, that's better. All right, here we go. Cover bad frog. <laughs> Stat booster? Welcome. All right. Rhyme City. A celebration of the harmony between humans and Pokemon. Sound? Can you not hear sound? Because you're not watching the stream with sound. Oh, that's if right. You anything like your time. I'm not. I remember. You wanted to be a Pokemon trainer when you were young. Yeah, that didn't really work out. Someone there? Whoever you are, I know how to use this. Ah, oh, jeez. Here we go. I know. You can't understand. At least they made Pikachu like super cute. I will electrocute you. At least he's super did cute. You just talk? Whoa. Did you just understand me? Oh my God! You can understand. I, I just can't no, get past so Ryan Reynolds. Long. I just they can't get past him. I just think of Deadpool. Pika. You can hear him, right? Pika Pika Pika, he's adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Can no one else hear him? It's weird. Like, I think he'll play the character well, but Pikachu, I would never expect to sound like Ryan Reynolds. I'm your best bet. We're gonna do this. You and me. It looks like they're putting effort in to make it a good film. Oh, the animation looks incredible. Incredible. Listen up. We got ways to make you talk. Or mine. Yeah. So tell us what we want to know. Pipe. Yes. Okay. I can. 
shoving, pushing. My problem is that I push people away and then hate them for leaving. I didn't you know you even felt this it. bad. What? I can shove it? Okay, that's it. No, we're switching roles. I'm bad cop. You're good cop. No, 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 no we're not cops. In my head, I saw that differently. So Wonder Boy says it's it's not the Pikachu, it's a different Pikachu. That's why I'm okay with it. Well, yeah. But, I mean, there's there's infinite amount of different Pokemon. Except for, like, the legendaries and stuff like that. But, even still. Uh, exactly, it, this is JG. It's uh, exactly what I thought. That you can't make him Ryan Reynolds. It just... <laughs> Yeah, super, super interesting choice of picking Ryan Reynolds to play the voice of Pikachu. Um, oh, yeah. It was Ryan Reynolds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of excited. I have loved Pokemon since Red slash Blue. Same. No, I, I'm the same way, Joke. Uh, I've been playing Pokemon for a very long time. Uh, I haven't played the recent ones. I didn't think that they were that great. But uh, everyone's back into the Pokemon Go grind. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's a it's an interesting choice, and they picked like really creative decisions on some of these Pokemon, like Furry Jigglypuff. I mean, Jigglypuff is known to be like like plastic, like a balloon, right? And they made Jigglypuff furry. I don't know what creative directive was around that, but that that was a weird choice. Uh, Charizard looks like an alligator, like straight up. Um, interns made that decision? Probably. Probably. Um, <laughs> like, straight up. Um, it was definitely an interesting choice. And then what was the other one? Mr. Mime looks demonic. Demonic. Like, scary. Scary. Um, who immediately gets rehires if it goes, if it goes well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um i don't play pokemon but i will uh i will see but i'll see watch it because it i'll still probably meant to say i'll still watch it because it looks great it does the animation looks fantastic my big thing is i'm super glad that they definitely i see i don't think it definitely is a kids movie i don't think that they meant to go that way um see like my biggest problem would have been if they would have made it uh, the main Pokemon storyline, they would have, like, botched it. It would have been terrible. Like, you can't make Ash as a, uh, as a live-action character. They would have killed it. Um, and then, the other thing is, I really hope that they give a reason as to why Pikachu can talk. And, I mean, it should sound that way because, like, the beginning part of that trailer starts off with, Oh my god, you can hear me, right? Um, so yeah, if they don't have any, if they don't come up with a reason why, I will be pretty upset, so. Because it wasn't until recently in the, in the animated Pokemon that Pikachu, or that they, they, they could even talk. Previously, they weren't able to talk at all, so. Um, there's a reason why he understands him in the game. What do you mean in the game? In the most recent game that they could understand him? Um, it's only the main character that who can understand and no one else can. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There, there has to be a reason why he can hear him. Oh, Detective Pikachu is a game. Oh, see, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that there was a game called Detective Pikachu. See, I'm a little bit behind on that one. When did that even come out? It's a connection between Trader and Master. Well, I mean, but we had that from read until all the way through except for de de detective uh pikachu uh that uh that they weren't able to talk um they'll pay attention I'm to the one above it nope. a while ago okay I'm, I'm completely lost what that went <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's okay <laughs> Uh, I watched all the Pokemon movies and cartoons, and this is weird. So it's candy. Um, I I don't know. I it, it's interesting to me. It's definitely not made for kids. That's for sure. It's not like, of course, it's gonna attract kids because it's Pokemon. Uh, but it was definitely made to, uh, to 
attract the audience that grew up with Pokemon as well. So, um, oh, that's a weird joke. Yeah, there, typing, there's, but no, I can't. there's no fake birds in their MD, so that might take all the fun out of it for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I'm typing, but I can't see what I type until I enter it. Oh, that's a weird joke. Um... <laughs> We'll save that. We'll save that for later, though. Wonder Boy. We'll save that for later. <laughs> Talk about the mix cast. Um, but yeah, uh, live action Dragon Ball uh, almost put me in the grave. That one I didn't see. I I'm not a big Dragon Ball fan. All I know is like there are some things that sh- just should not be live action. So I'm a little worried for Pokemon live action. I'm guessing that's what happened with uh, live action Dragon Ball. That it was not meant to be live action. Joke says, I'm playing Fallout on the TV, so I'm watching on SPQ's laptop. Uh, but we'll keep ch- uh, typing on the computer, which is also connected to the TV. All right, sweet. Ah. Um, all right. So, yeah. Uh, interesting choice. Did it say the release time on the movie? I'm going to scroll back and try to see if I can find it. Um, 2019. Well, he- well, right. let's see scrolling here. I, I, if you don't mind, there's uh, two people in here that come from my they mod with me that okay. decided to come over here and check you guys out, which is uh, kind of crafty and stat booster. Stat booster is far worse than I am, so beware. Oh god. So, but uh, if you don't mind giving them a welcome, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and, and that's a good point. Uh, we we appreciate you guys coming by. Um, uh, coming by the mixcast. Uh, this is an experiment that we're trying to run. See if we can do. Um, see if we can run a talk show slash podcast here on, um, here on Mixer. There's not a ton of big streamers. Actually, I don't think there's any big streamers that do a podcast. Uh, and. The smaller streamers, unfortunately, don't get enough reach to do a podcast. So I'm hoping that maybe I can bring up a trend and um, and encourage people to watch podcasts across Mixer as a platform. Um, so yeah, we appreciate all of you who are coming up to support and participate in the chat. And I'm just riding Big's coattail, so don't. Oh my god! Any other things here? <laughs> Bad Frog has been pu- uh, putting a lot of work and time into helping this get started. He's been looking up all the videos and uh sending me links and ideas and all that stuff so he's been he's been a big uh big help i have too much of an opinion to be a podcaster there's definitely biased podcasts there's definitely it so um all right actually so that was one of the topics that bob um, frog that's right bob frog bob ross <laughs> That was uh that was actually one of the things that we were discussing right before the stream uh was uh for because because this is so new do you guys want a background music to be playing so like during these conversations just so that there's some sort of noise or do you guys okay all right sweet i'm going i'm going with no all right i I, I guess we're good i guess we're good (laughs) oh my god all right looking for free music (laughs) all right hey we won't worry about that let me just click x right here there we go (laughs) okay it's gone don't worry it's not gonna happen all right. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, oh, bearded. That, Only if it's that, obey the beard on bearded. repeat. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bad Frog will jump on that one with you. Um, good night, Dark Will. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Dark Will says uh, it's always late for me, so good night uh, and good luck with the podcast. Thank you. Um, so if if you guys hear me reading chat and stuff, it's because I'm trying to make sure that anyone who listens to this on Podbean, which is audio only, and Acast, uh, which is audio only, um, I'm trying to make sure that they know who I'm talking to in the chat when we do, uh, when they're listening. So um, you'll hear me read a lot of what's popping up on the stream, and it might sound silly, but I'm trying to help. Yes, eventually iTunes. We're trying to get approved through iTunes as well. So Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so... This time slot that we're in right now, the 8 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, which is, uh, what is it? It's uh, 11 to midnight Eastern Standard Time, is the new time slot for the Mixcast. Uh, 
And I will go into the reasonings why on my personal stream, why we changed that. Um, it's because my life got too busy really fast and we literally only did it for one day. It just was impossible. Um, so this new time slot is going to work a lot better. Um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully people can show up for this time slot. Um, but what that means is we're going to record from 8 to 9 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. And then we'll I'll download the VOD, split it, uh, so that way we can put it up on Pi, Podbean, iTunes, and Acast. Um, it will be up and available every uh, the next morning after the show. So you guys can listen to it the next day, watch it the next day if you missed it the night uh, before. So I told you. Well, okay. I'll I'll go into much detail. Like I sent it to Bad Frog what my schedule was, and it was it was just nonsense. There literally uh, wasn't thirty minutes for me to eat a day. No, we 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 spent probably fifteen minutes discussing his schedule, trying to work this out. So it would be of a benefit to him because you, you he has no holes in his schedule. It's unbelievable. It was literally like there wasn't even thirty minutes for me to eat. Like it was bad. Like just nonstop every day. So. Um, but this time slot will actually work for me and it'll actually, so weird enough, the one hour streaming in the evening will allow me to have two hours extra of sleeping in the morning. So, uh, that's good, but all right, let's move on to the next thing. I just wanted to let people know why, uh, we are doing this in the evenings now. Oh my God. Look at all these fallout emotes, man. Okay. Let's just move on to it. Fallout. It's not even the next topic. Oh, wrong thing. Wrong thing. It's not even the next topic. We're just going to move on to it. Fallout. Fallout 76. Who's playing it? Who's playing it? Who's watched some streams of it today? And stream. Yeah. There, I'm sure Mixer was busy today with uh, streams. I mean, yeah. so Bad Frog, who do you mod for and, like, who was playing it? Uh, Seif. Seif. He's going to kill me if he hears that. Um, he was actually playing it, and he pulled over 450 viewers playing Fallout today. Wow, that's awesome. Which was stunning. Yeah, no, that's sure. awesome. Uh, anyone else that, uh, that you mod for or watch that's been streaming it? Um, no, I don't think so. I, okay. I think it was pretty limited. I don't know if uh, maybe Stat Booster had seen somebody in his rounds, but... Uh, I got you. It wasn't a... Um, so let me go through some of the chat. So Joke says, yes, it's so good. Bearded says, Fallout. Um, Master DPM is not playing it yet. Military Dragon wishes he was. Um, big, those 500-hour line and stuff are still going. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> Miss JG, uh, Miss JG, you're playing it or you watched it? Bearded's been playing it all day. Uh, AO won it in my stream, actually donated by, uh, Bad Frog. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, let's see. Crafty says Rocket Bear, she thinks was playing it today. Rocket Bear was playing it today. Okay. Um, let's see. Inked has been playing it all day today. It's amazing, but the servers are having issues. Are they? Okay. So this is interesting because this is the first fallout where uh multiplayer has been connected right there's no fallouts before where people were able to to join together it was primarily single player only i i i believe i'm correct on that one um i don't play open worlds myself i enjoy watching stories of open worlds correct this is the first multiplayer so i'm wondering well it has to be it has to be that because they brought in multiplayer for the first time I don't think they were ready for server. Uh, they did server testing for the last, what was it, like four weeks. They were doing like, um, maybe not four weeks. Maybe it was only like two weeks. But still, they were doing server tests, trying to get people into the game um, and trying to trying to play it. So, 24. Well, you, you can't test for day one. You just can't. Uh, Mr. G said 24 hours of server tests. Is that how much it was total? 24 hours of server tests? Um, yeah, dog god, but this is this is for podcast. This is for podcast. Remember, we're trying to keep Mixcast 
and my stream separate things. And if uh, the Mixcast is successful, we're going to bring Mixcast to a different channel. So, um, If you insist on doing that, then I'm going to insist on being on this corner down here while he's doing his thing. <laughs> you don't want that. Um... You haven't had any server issues, Joke. Well, that's good. That's good. At least it's not happening for everyone, then. They warned fans months before that it would be rough... Uh, that it would be... A rough long. I don't know. Oh, rough launch. Gotcha. Uh, since uh, this is their first, uh, military says. Yeah. No, uh... I, I mean, everyone should expect that. The launch of a brand new... The launch of a title that's never done multiplayer before. You're, you're asking for... Uh, the potential crash of of certain aspects of the game so uh i'm glad to hear that it's doing well i actually haven't gotten to watch official launch yet i watched a lot of people playing it before it came out during the server tests so no worries acn welcome to uh to mixcast um first off that's, that's true joke says first off anyone who is a true fan of fallout knows that it's always super buggy the first month and he's correct i played three and four were they both that way yeah it's they just don't expect the server load they get and this one has been highly anticipated for a year (laughs) so wait in three and four there were server issues even though it was single player only yeah so does it run off of online aspects in the game though not really but so why would they have server issues it's not really server issues. It's game issues trying to run correctly. Okay. <clears throat> um. Yeah, like what Bearded said. The game is just buggy. Okay. Bethesda has had that issue with every game. It always starts off rough uh, and becomes amazing games. Yeah. Okay. No, I got you. It makes sense. Um, so, with, uh, with Fallout 76, I mean, who... Other than, like, other than main storyline, like, uh, this is, this is the 76th, uh, Fallout Bunker, right? The 76th, um, uh, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Protective Shelter, right? Um, Vault. Thank you. That's what they're called. It's the first one to open. Okay. Um, from what I understand, though, being that it's the, um, being that it's just the first vault to open the game still takes place as if it's fallout what fallout 5 right it's the fifth installment of the game they just renamed it to 76 because of the vault that's opening this is supposed to be before three and four isn't it it's before three and four oh it is a prequel okay it's earliest in the time so does that mean it's taking place before fallout one Hmm. Okay, that I didn't know. So okay, I knew for sure it was before three and four. See, like I said, I like watching the um, these open world series, but of course I don't get to watch the like literally every part of the stories. But um, um, but well, that would definitely be before all of them. It's twenty five years after the bombs drop, says joke. Uh, yeah. Fallout One is much later. How like how late in in the years after the the j- bombs dropped uh, does Fallout does the rest of the Fallout installment hundred years? So why did Fallout seventy six get to come out first? Why why did uh why did or why did the Vault seventy six get to to come out first? I heard specific info. That said, this is not taking the place of what they had planned for Fallout 5, said Sugarbean. Um, good night, Sugarbean. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, um, Sugarbean. I was going to say the bodies look pretty fresh, says Jade Fox. That's funny. That's funny. Well, um, would be that rusty. Well, it would be rusty, but it wouldn't be sheer junk like it is in the other ones either, would it? This is the only one that they didn't do weird testing in. I don't know if I understand what that means, joke. Um, it opens uh, for the country's tris- tricentennial. Tricentennial. I don't know what that means either. What does that mean? 
I need explanations on what this means. I need to learn a little bit more of uh, Fallout. 300th anniversary. Wait, but okay, so hold on. What what I'm is so lost now? Yeah, what so what does the twenty five years mean? I what is what is three hundred years versus twenty five years? Now I'm not, I, you guys are losing me. I lost it. Like so, Fallout. Oh oh oh! oh. Three hundred years. It would be that the country had been. Is it 1776 to 2076? We just had the bicentennial of the country in 1976. So okay. 25 years before, before the events of Fallout? What? <laughs> you guys are just making this worse. It's a prequel. Wouldn't it, but isn't it still after the bombs dropped? Because you said 25 yes. years before the events of Fallout. I thought it was 25 years after the bombs dropped. Yeah, it's after the bombs. So, not 25 years before the events of Fallout. I think they're saying 25 years before the events of Fallout 1. I thought it was 75 years before the events of Fallout 1. Cuz didn't the uh, didn't Fallout 1 happen like 100 years later? Fallout 76 is 25 years after the bomb drop. Yeah, and during Fallout 1, wasn't it like 100 years after the bo bomb dropped? Yeah, so yeah, not so 25 years now, before the Yes, now we're <laughs> The confusion level has gone down some. Oof. No, stop it, David. Stop it. Oh God. <laughs> Do I need to pull up a wiki? I I don't I don't even know. You guys you guys made this super confusing. It seems like nobody knows the story of Fallout. It's a one giant mystery story. I guess I should have read more on it because Yes, I know it's good frog. Hi, Queen B. You're so lost. Me too. Me too, Crafty. Too many people talking at once. Yeah, I know, but I, I like if if it was the story of Fallout, you would think that, uh, you would think that everyone knows what the story is. <laughs> it sounds like everyone has different the stories. That I know now is that they built the shelters in 2076. 25 years later, the bombs dropped. And then a hundred years, I don't know where the, then they come in to open the vaults okay. after that, but it would make more sense if it's Fallout 76, that that vault opened in 2076, but uh, I'm thoroughly confused. Story starts, the bombs aren't important. So what does the tricentennial mean? That they made those vaults 300 years before you opened it? Hey, Queen Bee, how oh are you? God. Now, now it's... Now, per wiki, Fallout 76 is a narrative prequel to previous Fallout games. It is set in an alternate universe of history. <laughs> could, could, could they have made this more complicated, Bethesda? It's an alternate version of... Wait, so it's not even... <laughs> it's not even the same universe? <laughs> is that what I'm understanding? <laughs> She read the wiki. I don't it says know. alternate version of history. I'm guessing that's alternate based off of real life then. Of our history. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it now. Um, I'm going see. with Fallout 76 happened before Fallout 1. And I don't care how many years before or years after. How's that? It sounds like it's 25 years after the bomb. Fallout 1 was about 100 years after the bomb. So it takes place about 75 years before Fallout 1. Approximately. Okay. Alright, we got that settled. 
what is the 300 year thing they made those follow bunkers 300 years earlier so approximately 275 years before the bombs dropped so they made vault 76 to open on that day so the bombs dropped before then They made Fallout 76 to open. My head hurts. I just don't know. I don't know what that means. They made Fallout 76 to open on the Tricentennial. Which is 2076. Okay. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) What year does the game take place? How about that? What year does the game take place? It doesn't matter. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. Then why does it matter what year, like the tricentennial? Why does it matter what year it opens? Twenty-five years after the nuclear war that devastated the Earth. Yeah, but I can't open links, bearded. Um, it takes place twenty-one oh two, twenty-five years after nuclear war that devastated the Earth. It's not a link; it's just an image. I still I can't open anything. Can open anything. I can't access Discord. Um, the game takes no, place. No, 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 no. We've already gotten a year. Don't give us another one. Twenty twenty. Two people said twenty one oh two. Takes place in twenty one oh two. Twenty five years after a nuclear war that devastates the earth. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. We've we've. But I think we've beat I think we've beat this dog to death now, so <laughs> nuclear war equals tricentennial. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm I'm gonna I'm I tell you what, I'm gonna do some research tomorrow and we'll I will break down a timeline and give it to Big. Yeah, I need <laughs> I need some help understanding this. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Y'all are confusing yourselves. All all I wanna know. All I want to know is what the tricentennial means. I know it means 300. I know it means 300. I... No. No, no, no. Yeah, it's America's tricentennial. Oh! Okay. See, this is making more sense. The 300th anniversary of America. Nobody said that. No, no, no. I'm going to scroll up. I said said 1976 was the bicentennial. bicentennial I'm going to literally look for anyone who said the 300th anniversary of America. That's what I'm going to look for. That's what I'm going to look for. I, I, I... That's what tricentennial means? Yeah, but okay, so hold on. Tricentennial to me only means 300 years. For me, 300 years of what? That's what I didn't understand. That's what I didn't understand. 300 years of what? You know? Isn't making me lightheaded. <laughs> I think we've got the bases covered on this one. I said of the country, but but that doesn't mean anything to me. The country of what? What country does does Fortnite take place on? You know, country of what? I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stat, stop it. That that's that's the part that I didn't understand. Is that I didn't know game takes place in West Virginia. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know any of this. You guys are I teaching me this part. stuff. <laughs> you guys are teaching me this stuff. All games have taken place in a state. In different states? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Understanding now. Understanding now. Now I'm just, understanding. just took a hammer. Oh, Fallout no, 3 was no, in no, Washington. Don't go back to Fallout 3, then we'll get lost again. Okay. Now I gotcha. Fallout 76 will not feature any human non-player characters as all humans, all surviving humans will be 
This is JG. Other players. No. There's no NPCs Stop in the it. game? Like, you can't buy things from people? NPCs are robots? Oh, cool. There are vendors, but they're robots? Ah, that's a pretty cool, neat little feature. Fallout is meant to take place in America after World War II. There's a nuclear arms race, and instead of coming down like we did, Fallout Universe ramped up the nuclear war until it destroyed the world. Gotcha. Fallout 76 will instead use a combination of NPCs in the form of robots, recordings such as collect collectible holotapes, terminals throughout the game world, and environmental storytelling where the player uncovers fragments of a narrative by exploring locations that they just pieced together themselves. Thank you, David. You have 8 million bottle caps in Fallout 3. I don't know if that's a lot or if that's like... That's a lot. $3.25 or something. That's a lot of bottle caps. Okay. That's a ton. All right. Think of Cold War going bad? No, I get it. I get it. I understand that. I understand that. I just didn't understand where the 300 years was taking place. Now I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> I know nothing about Fallout. Me too. Now I know something. Now I know something. All right. I thought I knew about Fallout, but obviously I didn't. Ever seen the show called The 100? I love The 100. Um, I didn't know before... Uh, I didn't, before being a mod for Inked, yeah. Well, he plays the hell out of that game. Welcome to Fallout 101. Today you're going to learn. Well, we're going to learn the hard way. We're going to learn the hard way. Um, okay. Now that we understand that. Now that we understand that. Are there, so are there big differences between, like, Fallout 4 and Fallout 76? No, you're like, fine, David. Are I'm you serious? Are you seeing like major, major it. differences? Because for, for me, it's like, all right, another vault open. You go out and you explore. The men piece, the NPCs are the major difference. So, so, okay. So you're the first one to go out. So now there's robots. So like in the other fallouts, other vaults have prob have already opened. So there's that's a reason why there's uh, humans outside. Um, uh, but now. You go out and there's no humans outside because everyone would have died in the nuclear explosions. Um, so you're the first vault to open. There's robots. Is that is that the main difference? Like or like, I'm just trying to think. Like open world. I mean, is, there's no quest lines in Fallout 76, right? It's oh, mostly yeah. just exploring. No, there's quest lines. Is there? So yes. what what are you discovering out? Like because you know there was a nuclear war. What is there to what is there to find out? Yeah, that's it. Basically, people's stories. Plus, you're trying to what people's stories? Civilization. I thought every that. didn't everyone die to the to the to the nuclear bombs? Not Except entirely. Fallout shelters. Well, but none of the fallout shelters are open. You're the first one to open. Dead people have stories? I mean, unless nuclear bombs blew them all up. <laughs> That's the point I'm trying to make. You're the first one out. What is there left? <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, no, I, I get it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's exciting. Not everyone had... To... Yeah. No, I get it. The The radiation would have killed everyone else. The But the... The basic gameplay looks exactly the same as 4 to me. Does it? Yeah. As far... The Pip-Boy looks exactly the same. It's just... It looks... It looks like exactly the same style of gameplay. It's just you're going to get different storylines, obviously. Yeah, no, I, I get that... Uh, that not everywhere was hit by nuclear bombs. So, like, radiation would have killed everyone else. The bomb, like, obviously the bomb centers would have killed everyone, but, like, radiation would have uh, would have killed people over time until they got to finally open the, the bomb 25 years, or the vault 25 years later. Um, yeah. I think we built 
We've beaten Fallout to death now. <laughs> Still, though. It was, I'm glad we had the conversation because I learned a little bit. That's good. That's good. And I hope other people are understanding a little bit. The point is to rebuild society. Yeah, I got you. I could talk all day about it. I could learn all day about it. I could. And could. All right. Um, a show dedicated to Fallout. Yeah, Fallout show. Um, all right. So let's go back up. Uh, Xbox keyboard and mouse support. So... This week, actually a couple weeks ago, actually I'll back it, up, back it up even further. With the launch of the Xbox One X, um, uh, Xbox has been talking about um, the compatibility of being able to hook up a keyboard and a mouse to your Xbox. You've been able to do it for a very long time. You could do it with the Xbox One for a very long time. But game compatibility was never a thing. Uh, because when you're using controllers, you know, controller right here, everyone, everyone has controllers with their Xbox. Um, if you plug in a keyboard and a mouse, you're going to have, um, you're going to have, uh, the issue that a mouse will always be able to aim at a person directly every time, but, um, a controller, you know, you have to move the thumbstick back and forth until you're going to, like, land directly on a player. So, um, there is now a huge uh, concern that with the compatibility of mouse and keyboard on your Xbox, which was released today, I'm pretty sure, um, yep. there's going to be a huge concern uh, that controllers are going to have a serious disadvantage against keyboard yep. mouse. Part of that that came, A, the games themselves have to allow keyboard and mouse play. Correct. Ha- otherwise, it won't, won't work at all. And two games, it's Fallout and Warframe, are the only ones that are compatible right now. And Fortnite, is, Epic has already said that they're going to pull Fallout. Sorry. Fortnite. We talked about F- Fallout for too long. Fortnite. Um Fallout is our, our Epic's already said that they're going to pull those players because they can tell who's on keyboard and mouse even on the export box one, and they're going to pull those players and stick them on PC servers. So there's not going to be an advantage as far as Fortnite goes with PC or uh, keyboard and mouse players just destroying console players. Right, Bad Frog is yeah, totally right. Warframe and Mrs. JG. So the are compatible today. Warframe is too. Yeah. Okay. So. There's, you have, so Epic did it right. So Epic being the creator of Fortnite, they did it right, right off the bat. Um, You, like I said, serious disadvantage if you're using a controller, controller versus keyboard mouse, right? Um, So you have, uh, if you put those two people in a game, someone who's going to be playing on a keyboard mouse is always going to win against controller. So, What Fortnite does is it has recognizing tools to know whether you are, um, whether you are playing on a controller or whether you are playing on keyboard mouse. Um, even if you plug it into your Xbox, there's no way to get around it. There are like pieces of hardware that hide it. Um, but in no matter what there is coding and, and, and like, pieces of information that is going to be sent through the xbox that will will show that you are playing on something that's not a controller um epic has built a way for the game to recognize what you're playing on and will place you with other people who are playing that same style so if you're playing a controller you're going to be playing against controllers if you're playing keyboard mouse on your xbox you're going to be playing against other keyboard mouse. The part that I don't know is if you're playing other keyboard mouse that are on their computer, or if you're playing other keyboard mouse that are on their Xbox, or both. I'm not sure. Good night, Rogue Diamond. Good night, Rogue. PC server in general. Okay, so if you have your keyboard mouse, um, you will never play uh, controller players unless the controller player is playing cross-platform. That's the only time that you will ever do it. Um, So if you're a controller player and you're playing cross-platform, you're automatically putting yourself at a disadvantage. But that has been in the game for a few months now. Um, So that's that's not news. That part is already there. The news is that 
your keyboard mouse is now capable of being played on the 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 xbox and people worried for a while that uh that's the downfall of controllers um but uh but yeah uh, unfortunately these companies are are doing it right and not just saying all right keyboard mouse is okay have fun and just letting people with controllers just get run over that's not the case that's a good question twister he's but what if you were using a controller and get into a lobby with other control players then quickly switch to a keyboard and mouse? It should. I'm feeling keyboard and mouse is going to be locked out once you get into a lobby. Correct. It shouldn't let you play. It should It should tell you that It'll you have to plug in a controller. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I was going to say. They, they, they're going to lock that out so it can happen. Yeah, software software can determine that right away. So, um, so yeah. Fortnite did it right. I don't know how Warframe is doing it, but I'm really hoping they took the same route as uh, as uh, Epic Games did with Fortnite. Um, we'll we'll see. I I mean, I have both games. I'll try both games and uh, see what it says for determining uh, if you're plugging in a controller, uh, if you're playing against other controllers or not. Because Warframe is, if you haven't played Warframe, uh, actually Warframe. I don't think Warframe is ever PvP. I'm pretty sure it's only a PvE environment that you can play with your friends. I'm pretty sure yeah. Warframe or are you talking Warface? I'm pretty sure he's Warframe. Yeah, that's a that's what I'm saying. There there is PvP in Warframe. I wasn't sure. I know Warframe is huge on uh, PvE, but bringing in uh, multiplayer to help uh, in your PvE adventures. Okay. So I am unsure of Warframe. I do have both that I can try out Warframe and see how the PvP works with that. But um, I'm, I'm sure there's articles out there. Uh, Bad Frog just linked one. Uh, That's the fastest link I could find as far as it tells you right away, this is what's happening. These games are good. These games are coming. Yeah. Everything else wants to stretch it out two pages. So. Does it say, here, let me see what games are coming. Because I'm interested yeah, to in see. The second paragraph it tells you what games are coming. Yeah. So, right off the bat, later this month we have Bomber Crew Deep Rock Galactic, which is a very good game. That's a PVE uh, game where you bring in your friends, so you won't have any disadvantage playing that with your uh, with keyboard mouse uh, versus Why controller. Make the Xbox. Warhammer. I haven't played that one, but that's a uh, that's a that's a huge game too. That that has a lot of um, a lot of population playing it. War Thunder, uh, X Morph Defense uh, will also get keyboard and mouse uh, controls. Um, Children of Morta, Daisy, Minion Master, Moonlighter, Vigor, Warface, and War Groove will support controller scheme. The controller scheme, the control scheme. Sorry, at a later date. Interesting. So War face is also getting it so um uh, they're no queen bee I, I don't think they're if this is what your question is i don't think they're forcing you into keyboard now you can, there's still gonna be controller play that's never gonna go away yeah then why did they make xbox for you if you need keyboard should have come with it no no, no. It, your controller will work it's just they're giving you the option to plug in a keyboard mouse if you want to that's it and the and the biggest thing is uh i wish everybody had a keyboard and mouse for text because it drives me insane waiting for somebody to answer a question one letter at a time yeah so um and wonder boy says um I think it's all crazy. If you want to play with a keyboard or mouse, just get a PC. Just my opinion. This is the downside to that. Uh, Wonder Boy. Um, your Xbox, if you don't buy an Xbox One X, your Xbox costs you $300 max. $300. If you want a PC that's capable of running uh, games at the same quality, you have to spend $1,000 it's yeah. it's literally that's, is that's you, correct. if uh if you're let's say you're a you're a minor you're a kid and your parents want to get you a game but they can't afford to buy you a pc even though you really want to play pc games 
So you have to get an Xbox. But maybe you like the keyboard mouse. You just don't like controllers, you know, like um, even even at work. So I work for Tiny Build now, right? Um, for Tiny Build, for testing some games, even though um, the games run on um, keyboard mouse for for testing purposes, I still plug in a controller, even though I have the option to to um, to use keyboard mouse. I still plug in a controller. I like the controller better. So. Uh- I, to answer that, Miss JG, I actually have a Bluetooth in my Xbox for my Bluetooth keyboard because I sit so far away from the Xbox, and it works just fine. So it doesn't have to be direct connect. You can get Bluetooth and plug that little Bluetooth receiver in the back of the uh, Xbox. Really? Okay, that's yep. pretty cool. As long as they're already linked together. If they're not linked together, your Xbox can't form that connection. You can make that connection with a PC, though. Yeah, so you gotta if you, do it with a PC. Yeah. USB wireless keyboard works. Yeah, isn't that what Bad Frog was just talking about? On Xbox? USB wireless keyboard? Bad Frog? He's, he's, he's just helping me out. Oh, he's backing you up. Okay, I understand. Um, Let's see. Uh, I will never be able to use a keyboard mouse unless I'm... Uh, unless I use wireless because I sit so far from your Xbox slash TV. Yeah. Um, I mean, for me in my circumstance, streaming, you got to have everything close together. So um, it doesn't affect me. Um, but for relaxed gameplay, if uh, if you're ever using a keyboard to type messages to people on Xbox, absolutely. Wireless would be awesome. Um, yeah, that's correct. But you can use anything. And you know that's going to be pricey. With Razer making it for Xbox. Potentially. It depends on who ends up selling it. If Xbox ends up selling it, Xbox will control the price of it. So, Razer... Um, so, MD said, Razer is going to be making an Xbox-specific keyboard. So, they got the license to do it. That's pretty amazing on its own. Um, Razer making great products for uh, Xbox already. Um, you'll see the keyboard coming out soon um and the keyboard will be xbox and razor branded um so we'll see we'll see what it ends up looking like um and and the cost they're, they're gonna have to sell it at a price that people are looking for so and and i think they know that so um let's see um for that new for that new game letter writer pro you definitely need a keyboard letter yeah. writer pro it's it's a sim game oh my god <laughs> you're simulating office work oh my god um yeah so interesting interesting thing coming to Xbox we haven't seen the issue of keyboard mouse come to Xbox yet this is the first time it's ever done it they previously Xbox had allowed keyboards to work on Xbox, but you could never play any games with them. So, uh, but yeah, no worries, Queen. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. Um, let's see. Um, why would I pay? Wait, why would I pay to do what I do in real life to get paid for? <laughs> Well, you need to practice. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Yeah, I totally misread that. I totally misread that. Okay. I totally misread that. Um. Um. You've played it and it's tiny build. Do you think Graveyard Keeper will be easier with, would be easier with a computer? Do I think Graveyard Keeper would be easier with a computer? Well, it's on, it's on Steam. With a keyboard. It's on Steam. So you can you can try it with a keyboard right now. Um Graveyard Keeper I mean I don't know. Did you think Graveyard Keeper was difficult with a controller? I it, yeah, it's easy with a keyboard mouse. Yeah, absolutely. But on Xbox, did you find that it was difficult with a controller? I didn't I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, no, Queen Bee, I totally I totally misread what you were saying. I thought, yeah, no, that was my bad. <laughs> uh, let me tell you let me tell you the first thing I thought of 
when I heard keyboard and mouse play on uh, Xbox was uh, <laughs> Warcraft because it's it would be oh, yeah. so difficult to bind all those functions to a controller. Oh yeah. If you have keyboard and mouse, they could bring Warcraft to Xbox now. Uh, and you could reasonably play it. I would not be surprised if Blizzard has been waiting for this news for years. And with the launch of uh, World of Warcraft Classic coming out next year, that they might have a port. I would not be surprised if uh, World of Warcraft uh, Classic has an Xbox port next year because of this news. That Warcraft is not going anywhere. It's still got a big following. If they can <laughs> snatch up some Xbox kids, oh my goodness. Because of the size of the game, that's a massive download? I think they could keep it pretty low. I think they could keep it pretty low. Yeah, if you pull a lot of it off servers, it, it might be a lot easier. Um, having played it, I was just thinking inventory management. Ah, it's just D-pad, you know, just moving around. I mean, yeah, keyboard mouse is easier for, for games with a lot of inventory because you don't have to tab so many times. But with your D-pad on your controller, it's really not that bad. Um, I would use keyboard mouse for the new StarCraft game. Yeah. So the big thing, why RTSs are, uh, yeah, RTS, real-time strategy games, such as Halo Wars, StarCraft, um, any of those top-down control-your-army games, the reasons why that doesn't come to Xbox is because controller schemes don't work on controllers. They work on keyboard mouse for those games. Halo Wars was like the only successful one to do it. And the only reason why that is, is because, and I'm not downplaying the game at all. Halo Wars is a dumbed down version of an RTS, meaning that there are less, um, there are less controls in the game for you to do more options. So you can still do the same functions as any RTS, just not as many of them, uh, which made Halo Wars very capable of being an RTS on Xbox. But with like um, with all of the other giants, uh, with StarCraft especially being the big one, um, having uh, like StarCraft and Dota being the big ones, uh, those ones, there's too much. You can't bring that to, to Xbox with a controller. You have to have a keyboard mouse. Now it might be possible. You might see StarCraft come on Xbox now. They've already made games that come out for Xbox. Overwatch. Um, even Call of Duty is running off of the Blizzard servers. Um, you you have a lot of stuff that comes through Battle.net. And you might see StarCraft being the next one. So, Miss JG has another pretty good question. So does this mean game devs right now? with games coming out soon or scrambling to reprogram this. I think it's a simple patch. Um, if they have to, I don't think there's anything massive program. It's just going to be inputs. So yes, yes. And no. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm making it simpler, obviously than it actually is, but there, it's still just inputs from a, a, a de- yeah, there's there. So yes and no. Um, if a game is coming out next week, are they going to be updating it to have it? No. Um, if a game is coming out in the next five months, are they going to do it? Maybe. Um, adding those controller schemes. So when you add a whole new device to something, you have to not only make sure that every function actually works, but you have to play through the entire game with those functions and make sure that nothing breaks with that. Because when you add new code, you could be forcing some other code to malfunction. Um, so there's a lot of testing that goes into when you add a new controller scheme. Um, so potentially, but not the ones that are releasing soon. So, um, yeah. Um, let's see. Yes. The game has to allow... Sorry, and she says, and can a dev say, no, we don't want keyboard and mouse. The game has to allow the keyboard and mouse input. If the game doesn't allow it, you're not going to get it. Yeah. There, so there's, they there's have a... control over whether or not their game is going to be played keyboard or mouse or not. 
there's a very defined list of which games are going to get keyboard and mouse and Xbox will not stop a game from launching on Xbox just because it uh, doesn't support keyboard and mouse. If they don't want it, they don't have to have it. It's uh, totally up to them. Um, let's see. Need Roller Coaster Tycoon on Xbox? You, I mean, that that's easy, though. Uh, look at Jurassic Park Evolution. That game is wildly successful on Xbox right now. So, um, so yeah. Games like that uh, shouldn't have too much of a problem. Um, you go back through. Uh, they what tried. What I'd like to see is a combination of keyboard and controller. So you can still use your controller for a lot of things, and then the keyboard, no mouse. When you when you plug in the keyboard and mouse, it shouldn't disable your controller. You should still be able to use it. Yeah. As far as I've recognized in like when at least with PC, that's how it does it. When you plug in a controller into your PC to play with your controller, if you use your keyboard mouse, it'll still work for the most part. Um, some games it doesn't, but. I wonder if Keyboard and Mouse will go to Diablo 3. I don't see why not, to be honest. It's on both. So they make it a lot easier to play. They, I mean, they spent a lot of time making the controller scheme for Diablo 3, but if it, if they given the option, I don't see why they wouldn't. How's it going, Chef? Um, let's see. Uh, I, they tried with StarCraft 64... It was so bad. What? Bringing... They tried what with StarCraft 64? Uh, I, if League... I, I think he said I tried with Car StarCraft 64 using a controller. Oh, 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 oh. Using a controller for StarCraft 64 was so bad. Uh, yeah. Um, if League of Legends comes to Xbox, I'm going PS4. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, you might see it, to be honest. You might see it. I There's no restrictions now. The only restrictions are uh, processing capabilities. That's the, that's the only thing that's stopping it, is how, how tech updated are these consoles. That's what's stopping the games now. So, Get yeah. back in here, MD. You are not <laughs> going anywhere. That will confuse me even more. What will confuse you even more? Queen Bee um rts absolutely needs mouse and keyboard oh yeah, yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah all right let me push the next subject real quick actually real quick so if you're new to this oh i mean but keyboard i mean you just type use the mouse to point and aim that's all bit oh that's all it is uh real quick Oh, that's where the lair went. It's hiding in the code of the day. Remember I couldn't <laughs> find it before? Yeah. That's where it went. I found it. I found yep. it. In, Desktop in, video. In honor, in honor of Spyro yesterday, we've gone with Dragon Gym as our code of the day. Yeah. All one word, no spaces. So if you go to player.gg slash bighungry2x slash mixcast1, which I'll put that link in the chat right here real quick. Um player.gg slash bighunger2x slash mixcast1 if you want a chance at winning a year of xbox live for free um the link in the chat will take you to uh the giveaway um it's it just asks you to follow the channels follow our twitter stuff like that um if you add in the code at the bottom dragon gem one word um, you'll get extra bonus points towards the contest. Every time we do a mix cast, there will be a code of the day, different code of the day. So tune in each day. You can go back and watch the YouTube videos or, uh, listen to the, uh, a cast or the Podbean or, uh, soon to be iTunes. Um, and if you enter in each code for the day, you'll get bonus points every day for just participating and hanging out and listening to the show. So uh appreciated uh again code of the day is dragon gem uh for spyro yesterday um all right let's see uh last topic of the day fortnite glider deploy hi amberu um i'm not here for that i'm just here for the respect 
Oh, well, we appreciate that, but Absolutely. why not win a year of Xbox Live anyway, Queen Bee? Someone's uh, going to win it. Could be you. Could everybody be you. that's here is helping us out, I promise you. Yeah, so we, we like appreciate this. Even though you're just here for the respect, enter yourself in to win a year of Xbox Live. It's free. It's free. Um, uh, hi, Amber Roo. Hi, Chef. Uh, Fortnite glider deploy. Um, so... This this will probably be a, a shorter topic because uh, uh, it's it's not like massive news, but uh, it was a huge controversy in Fortnite for a while. Um, Fortnite. So for those who don't know how Fortnite works or don't know what we're talking on that, um, you'll never win a game now. Uh, for those who don't know what we're talking about, Fortnite glider deploy is. Um, when you're playing a game of Fortnite, previously, before the Halloween event, if you fell, so if you fell off of a mountain or if you, uh, if you built a big tower, someone knocked it down, you would hit the ground and die or get hurt or whatever, right? Um, and there wasn't really much to get around it. So it prevented you from going super high up. Now... Well, up until today, um, when you fell from high places or even up to a certain point, it was like 30 feet off the ground or something or like two building, two, two building walls high. Now, if you fall or before, if you fell, you could deploy your glider and you could prevent yourself from ever taking fall damage. Like literally you could go into every single match and never take one fall damage. You would literally just... If you're ever falling, spam A, you'll glide. You'll never take fall damage. Today, they took it back. No more deploying if you're falling. No more. If uh, if if you get knocked down from, from a high building you built, if you fell off of a mountain, you are not allowed to deploy your glider anymore. They took it away. It's back to wh the way it used to be. Um, there was huge debates on this. And like I and I mean huge, like the biggest Fortnite streamers in the world, all of this stuff, um, were all complaining about it. And the reason they were complaining is because you know these build battles that I'm always complaining about, like people building these four story mansions. Too. Um, they would just build these mansions. The other people would build up to try to kill them, and then the person would just glide away, and they'd get away scot free, right? Um, well, that's true, joke zone didn't matter anymore because you just build a ramp and fly away right exactly exactly but the big the pro players were just upset because they'd be they'd waste like 300 materials and the person who they were trying to kill would just fly away it didn't matter or if they did kill them they both wasted so many materials because they would just keep building four four story tall mansions uh fly to another spot do it again fly to another spot do it again and no one would have any materials left. Um, now, uh, now it's back to it where if you build, you have a chance of dying because you're going to fall. And if you die, someone else is going to take your leftover materials. So it brings materials back into the play and you're not constantly running out of materials in the game. Um, it's an interesting method that they keep jumping between... Uh, uh, different styles of the gameplay each time. Uh, I thought it was going to be a test at first, but it lasted a long time. They had it there for a while. Uh, to show how controversial that whole thing was, Epic did a huge poll, and it ended up being almost divided 50-50 between the people that wanted it and the people that didn't want it. Did they really? Yeah, oh, was that on I Twitter? Can, I can't find the link, but I, I was talking to somebody about it. And it's it's an even division among people who hated it and people who liked it. Was that on Twitter or where was it? I think it was on Twitter. Okay, but, uh, I'll see if I can find it. Um, so during during my whole conversation of like what what the difference was between it and why it mattered, um, uh, MD said he didn't mind uh the gliding, but he likes it better how it was originally. Uh, me both ways. My big thing was that the zone didn't matter. You didn't die to the zone during this glider deploy uh, series um, unless it was the very end of the game where damage from the zone was very high. Zones didn't matter. 
Z zones didn't matter. Um, let's see. Why did they take the 50 v 50? Because they put the 12 v 12 burger versus pizza. Wait, did they really? <laughs> yeah. They changed they changed 50 versus 50 to... I think they did. And it's got this 12 versus 12 where you've got to defend a burger or the pizza place. And you, and you fight with the turret. It's crazy. What? And, and there's only 24 people in the match? Yeah. Really? Wow. That's interesting. That mo that's the first time that they've ever built a mode that was less than 100 people. Yeah, I'll have to. Yeah, food fight. That's what it's called. I couldn't think of it. Interesting. I haven't played in I haven't played in a, a, a bit, a good five days or something like that. Oh, terror was 32 versus 32 in disco. I, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Um, all right. Uh, Master DPM hates fall damage, so he's sad about gliders going away. I like fall damage. It requires skill to make sure that uh, you're not going to die to a fall every time you build 50 stories tall. Um, Twister says your glider should only be used at the beginning of the match. That's it. Or if you fly into tornadoes or something like that. Or, like, I don't know. Stuff like that. Jump pads. I like all that jump, stuff. Jump yeah. pads. Portal. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see. Disco. Disco is still in the game? Oh, my God. Why do they have, like, multiple silly modes? I want, like, I want, like, two real modes. Like, OG Fortnite, like, squads, duos, singles. Um, and then, like, a, another, like skillful based game mode like blitz or snipers or something like that and then put two silly modes disco and 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 this food fight one that i haven't seen yet uh I wanna, but i want to see team killing put back on that man i remember <laughs> when that went away and i was mad man i was mad because team killing is skillful because you can't just shoot loads of rockets at your teammates I know MD killed me all the time. Um, it's it's not skillful to just shoot a bunch of rockets at your teammate, but have a chance to kill the enemy. That's not skillful. Yeah, but I can I can pay you to dome people all the time, then. So that's <laughs> the reason I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, let's see. Um. <laughs> Yeah, can, can you kill MD for five bucks? That was funny. <laughs> Joke is glad Reglide is gone. I, I'm I'm happy about it, man. It it's I don't know. I'm happy about it. Um uh, Master DPM is it sounds like Master DPM is glad Reglide is gone, but he just hates taking fall damage. I've gotten a pretty clear picture that he hates fall damage. Yeah. Master DPM, do you hate fall damage? Uh, zombies was fun, according to Queen B. I just wanted it to be by itself. I hated the fact that it was in quads duos, uh, solos. I hated it, man. I hated it. It bothered me so much. That's, I was so happy when they like had its own modes for it. <laughs> so. Oh, it's any game. Now he hates fall damage. So. Um, let's see. Uh, Master DPM hates fall damage in any game. People must have agreed, uh, big because they changed it up. Yeah. Oh, I know. I yeah. For zombies moving from from all playlists to its own playlist. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I hated the overlap. I hated it. But yeah. So yeah, like I said, glider. Not a super long conversation, but interesting that they brought it back. So. No Dar no fall damage in Darwin. <laughs> true, true. Nothing to climb in Darwin, really. <laughs> That's true, also. Well, I mean, you can fall off the sides of mountains, but still. You can glide, though. <laughs> 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 you can deploy your glider. <laughs> jump into yeah, lava. Jump into lava. You would love the food fight? I might yeah, have, have to, to check it out. Tonight. Might no. have to check it out. It's silly. It really is silly. Teleport, glide, fall into lava, see if there's damage. There's damage. There is damage. Um, but yeah, I think uh, the turrets are loud, are they? Okay, I'll have to. I'll have to check it out. 
I'll have to check it out. Um, but yeah, that I think that's uh, that's gonna cover our topics. Um, We're eating into your game time now. Well, my concern is I have a feature in thirty minutes, so uh, exactly I have to jump onto that. So yep. Um, but um. I want what's the feature? I actually have to go back and see if it was for Battlefield or see if it was for Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know which one it's for. Um, I got it a few and days ago. I'm checking my email, but I, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go keep find leaving out. your ideas in the Discord channel. That's what I was gonna bring obviously, up. Obviously, you can see some of your ideas got. I happen to have already had those, but it was good to know that there was interest in yeah. them. Even so, I mean. That, that, that's literally what I was just about to comment on, is even if you think, like, oh, Big and Bad Frog know that Battlefield is coming out, we don't have to tell them that Battlefield is a good topic. Tell us! We want to know that people actually want to talk about Battlefield. Um, uh, so, yeah, join the Discord. Discord link is in chat right now. There is a channel specifically for the Mixcast. Leave your comments there what we should talk about if you like today's episode um and anything that you would change like we discussed at the beginning of the uh, uh the beginning of the podcast uh do you guys want music obviously it was no if there's anything else that you'd say like oh this would work better if it was this way one of our suggestions was to leave the mixers uh or sorry the mix cast schedule up on the screen like this but the only problem with that is where do notifications pop up so I'm trying to find a good balance between all of that stuff. If you have suggestions, tell us. We want to improve to make this as good as uh, we can. Um, and it does not have to be game-related. Correct. If there's no politics, no religion, but it doesn't have to be game-related. Look at the first topic, Detective Pikachu. I mean, Pokemon technically so. game-related, but it's film. You know, We're happy to talk about music. We're happy to talk about sports. Even though we might not have a lot to comment on sports, but you guys can tell us. It, just it, like it could be a Fallout situation. I was going to say, you could tell us football <laughs> like it was Fallout all over again. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and help us out when uh, we get the tweets. I, we would really appreciate it if you could like them, retweet them if you yes, want to. Yes, please. Spread the word because we need to get as many people as we can so we can we can keep this running yeah yeah and a lot of you guys showed up again uh it was a completely different time frame i think people might still have been expecting it to be in the morning um the evening time slot works a lot better for me and bad frog was uh very willing to uh do the time frame in the evening so uh like i said all of the post-production stuff such as youtube podbean acast um will all be uploaded tomorrow morning uh, so anyone who missed the show, you can give them the link there in the morning. Um, and that's how we'll do the repeating. So next episode for Mixcast is tomorrow evening, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Join us for it. Um, we would love to have you. Uh, Bad Frog and I uh, meet uh, every every day to discuss like what the next topics are going to be about. We try to get, gather all the links together so that way it's easier for, for us to talk about that stuff. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for helping us out. You don't know if I'm uh, allowed to say it. Allowed to say what, Queen Bee? Um, I'm happy to that I get to see a little bit of the stream. Uh, I will be going to sleep now, though. I have to work in a few hours. Appreciated for hanging thanks, out, Darth. Thanks, Darth. It is, up. Yeah, it is very appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to cut it for Bad Frog and I for this episode. Yeah, I just um, need a couple of minutes of your time after we cut this. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Crafty. Thanks for lurking in the shadows and watching the whole time. Yeah, I appreciate you showing up, Crafty. I absolutely. Really absolutely. I'm glad that people that aren't just from my community are stopping by to watch. Um, it's uh, it's it's greatly appreciated because uh, I I have to introduce people that I know to your community. Honestly, it, it's so. it's fun merging communities and bringing people to enjoy topics that we can we can all love and discuss. And even if you don't have any participation in the in the the specific topic, 
we can uh, either inform you about it or maybe maybe it'll be something that you enjoy uh, that you didn't even expect. So, um, yeah. So Alrighty. I think that's that's all for us. Um, uh, Queen Bee is here from Mister's channel. She came here uh, on our recommendation. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, uh, Miss JG, for recommending Queen Bee here. And thanks for coming over, Queen Bee. You were a part of the conversation. Absolutely. Always... Absolutely. Um, yeah. So, uh, not to promote myself at all, but uh, just so everyone's aware how this is going to happen every day. Uh, 8 to 9-ish. We went to 9.30 today. Uh, we'll do the podcast. I will end stream for less than five minutes and then restart up with my stream. So if you guys hang out for a couple minutes, hang out and chat, I'll still be here in chat. I just got to restart and uh, put everything back the way it was to do my personal stream. So appreciated, guys. Uh, any last things, Bad Frog? Not, I'll be in chat for a little while with you guys and just keep just keep helping us out. Participate. That's that's really the biggest thing is participation. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, it, it helps us not have to sit here going. Uh, what are we going to talk about? Yeah. So. If you guys also want notifications for when we're doing this each time, join the Discord because you'll get a notification there when we go live for the podcast. Uh, you can type exclamation point text right there in the chat, and you can put in your phone number there. You'll get a notification when we go live. Um, and uh, if you follow either me or Bad Frog on Twitter, you can actually turn on tweet notifications so that way you'll get a notification from there if you don't want the other notifications um, for when we start the Mixcast. So, um, and like I said, don't forget that you can always view the show on uh, uh, on the audio-only versions or on YouTube um, the next day if you miss the previous night. So, we appreciate it, guys. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. Um, I'm hoping that uh, we get to keep doing this for a long time. I'm going to give you some words of wisdom during his stream. So I think we should end with words of wisdom from a frog. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll type some words of wisdom out during his stream. That way uh, everybody can enjoy it for a while. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much. Uh, we'll yeah. start back up in like five minutes. Bye everyone.